Well, this packed act does address some of the Agent Orange and Camp Lejeune, some other injustices uh, that have been out there for a while, as you may have seen the we had on TV. Our history in our country has been veterans helping veterans. One year ago, we, uh, this became the law of the land. What's important about it is that it gives the respect to veterans. As I said, these burn pits were as big as a, a, a football field, or bigger, or two football fields. And they were breathing these toxic waste of all kinds, some, and very carcinogenic. And up until we're passing the bill, you had to prove that this was dependent on that, and why you were there, and what were the day. Forget that. You have a diagnosis, you were there, you qualify. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as an Army veteran myself, I was exposed to burn pits in Iraq. And I want to echo the gratitude today to Speaker Pelosi and her staff for their leadership, um, to Congress for passing, to the President for signing, and to the VA for enacting the PAC Act. I thank Swords to Plowshare, the VA Hospital, and our other partners in service, like the Institute on Aging, for their partnership in helping us get the word out to our veterans and their family members. A little bit about the San Francisco County Veterans Service Office. The SFCVSO and CVSOs across the nation are helping veterans and their family members apply for federal, state, and local benefits every day. We offer walk-in services, as well as the ability to schedule an appointment one-on-one -on -one with one of our claims representatives virtually. And thanks to our partnership with the VA hospital, we even have an outstation at the Fort Miley VA hospital where we're serving veterans there. Since the enactment of the PACT Act in August of 2022, <coughs> over 3,000 new veterans have reached out to the San Francisco County Veterans Service Office for assistance in filing claims, and we will continue to connect with and help every veteran who has served.